Hello dear fellow scholars today we are going to grow people out of noise of all things i am going to introduce you to super resolution 3 an ai paper published on march of 2021 sr3 or super resolution 3 is an approach to image super resolution via repeated refinement so what is super resolution exactly um it is exactly what it sounds like super resolution is a technique to upscale low resolution pictures or videos to get an upscaled eight times more refined output without any visual artifacts super resolution is a refinement to the last year's sr2 this model adapts these noising diffusion probabilistic models to conditional image generation and performs super resolution th- through a stochastic denoising process the inference starts with pure gaussian noise and iteratively refines the noisy output using a unit model trained on denoising at various noise sr3 exhibits strong performance on super resolution tasks at different magnitudes on faces and natural images the researchers have conducted human evaluation on a standard 8 times super resolution task on celeb ahq comparing with state of the art image generative models and can methods coming on to the strengths of sr3 firstly the model has an extraordinary ability to induce details into a feature that is only presented by a few pixels for example in this first image seen in the top rightmost here is 64 by 64 which is what the input sr3 is first layer accepts if you were to zoom into model's eyes you could see that each eye is only about 4 by 4 pixels in size this is almost no detail for the model to recreate its entire set of eyes even in that case in four iterations this model is able to get a picture perfect face with more details in one eye than the entirety of the original image itself this output image is 1024 by 1024 in size this includes recreating the eye with the correct eye color getting the eye shape right and also the position of the size of person's pupils and you can even see the reflection in each eye depending on the lighting on the face this here is a graph that shows how likely are the people to confuse the synthesized images to the new ones sr3 achieves a confusion rate to close to 50% or 47% to be exact suggesting photorealistic outputs while the previous pulse scan technique did not even exceed a confusion rate of 34%. The effectiveness of SR3 is also seen in cascaded image generation where the generative models are chained with super resolution models yielding a competitive FID score of 11.3 on ImageNet. Also as a note 47.4% in is even more impressive when you consider the maximum is 50% and not 100%. This is because if you put two real images next to each other you would expect each to be equally likely to be picked This is the very first technique that I have seen where people are barely able to tell that the images are synthetic we are getting one step closer to this technique getting deployed in real world products SR3 is also not trained only on human faces it can work its magic on animals and even video game scenes wherein the world sample might not look like the real world sr3 generates unconditional 1024 by 1024 unconditional face images using a cascade of an unconditional diffusion model at 64 by 64 resolution followed by two uh, followed by two four times super resolution models sr3 also generates 256 by 256 class conditional natural images 
by using cascade of a class conditional diffusion model at 64 by 64 resolution followed by a four times super resolution model cascaded generation allows training of different models in parallel and inference is also efficient as lower resolution models can use more iterations while higher resolution model can use fewer iterations so what makes our sr3 so amazing this paper is not the first nor the second nor even the hundredth in super resolution how is a sr3 based upscaling method better than the papers before this if you compare the shown images we can see that the previous methods gave a relative blurry output this compromises the overall sharpness of the image sr3 however gives a super detailed output which makes even the actual image seem fake as we can see from the image given and we are only scratching the surface here coming on to the applications these are the most obvious applications of this ai model and i am sure you can think of many more um, all this to bring us to the limitations of this technique one of the most notable downsides is when the output resolution is increased from 1024 the images get proportionally less sharp for example if the output image is made to scale to 2048 the diffusion rates drop down to the same of the previous techniques but still this is an amazing step for a learning based algorithm in just one paper these are straightforward installation and running steps of the program the model itself can be downloaded pre-trained from the uh, github repository and installation and data preparation is straightforward as well thank you